Paul Howard Poborezny had lofty goals, so lofty in fact he needed to fly to reach them. A visionary and innovator of modern aviation and founder of the Experimental Aircraft Association, Paul nurtured the EAA from a flight of fancy that began in his basement in 1953 to an international organization that now includes 170,000 members in more than 100 countries. Today, the EAA is perhaps best known for its annual Air Venture Fly-In Convention in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Each year, more than three quarters of a million people and 10,000 aircraft participate in one of the largest aviation events in the world. The relationship between man and machine is legendary. And although he's logged more than 30,000 hours of flight time in just about every imaginable aircraft, served with distinction in the military for nearly 30 years, and received countless awards and honors, Paul says, I've learned more about people through my association with aviation than I ever did about airplanes. As for Paul, the lessons began from the moment he discovered that the sky was the limit. As a young child, he built model airplanes, quite often from scratch. And with every heroic tale of a World War I flying ace or the cough and catch of a biplane overhead, Paul's imagination soared. Fostering Paul's undeniable interest, a high school teacher gave him an old Waco primary glider. Soon, Paul had the glider completely restored and had taught himself how to fly it, all by the age of 16. Over the course of the next year, Paul took to the air in that glider over 2,000 times. By the time he reached 17, Paul was ready for powered flight and soloed in a 1935 five-cylinder porterfield. His destiny was as obvious as a white vapor trail against a blue sky. By 1940, Europe was well entrenched in the war. Paul had his student pilot's license and was flying regularly out of Horlick Field in Racine. The United States entered the war on December 7, 1941, and soon after Paul applied to the military as a potential pilot candidate. Rejected because he lacked the formal education needed, he was accepted into the War Training Service where he underwent flight training as an aviation cadet. World War II saw Paul's flying career take off as his distinguished military career spanned nearly three decades, during which time he was a pilot, test pilot, and combat veteran. Having served in World War II and the Korean War, he retired from active duty in 1970 with the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. Before retiring, Paul became the only person to have received all seven aviation wings of the military. By the early 1950s, Paul and his wife Audrey were similar to many young families. They had two children, Tom and Bonnie, but building and flying home-built airplanes continued to be a passion for Paul. On January 26, 1953, the first meeting of what would become the Experimental Aircraft Association was held as what is now Timmerman Airport in Milwaukee. Paul was named president, a position he would hold for the next 36 years. For the first decade of EAA's existence, Paul and Audrey ran the organization from the basement of their home, fitting in all the office work and communications and the spare moments away from work and family. Although it was founded as a local club, EAA had captured something that drew people throughout the country. Throughout the following decades, the interest in the EAA seemed to multiply exponentially. As membership grew, so did EAA's influence with aviation policymakers, who saw that the organization had a knack for getting this done as a partner with industry and government. Today, EAA is one of the nation's most important organizations regarding protecting the individual's ability to fly and providing programs and activities that encourages that participation. The seven-day EAA Air Venture Fly-In now attracts aviation enthusiasts from around the globe to Oshkosh, Wisconsin. It is considered by many as the world's greatest aviation celebration, drawing together the aviation community as no other event on the planet. In addition, EAA Air Venture is an economic powerhouse with a tourism benefit in Wisconsin that exceeds $85 million each year. Paul H. Poborezny has also become one of the most decorated men in the international aviation community, having received hundreds of trophies, awards, and honors for his countless contributions to the world of flight. In 1999, he was inducted into the National Aviation Hall of Fame in Dayton, Ohio, and in 2002 received the prestigious Wright Brothers Memorial Trophy from the National Aeronautic Association. Paul.